What does it really mean to say physics is fundamental? The laws of physics are supposed to apply to everything, everywhere, without qualification, without any you know, accidental historical data thrown in. Compare it, for instance, with the laws of biology. There's billions of years of historical accidents that went into creating the human genome the way it is. You know, hey, some little, you know, gerbil-like creature gets stepped on by a dinosaur, you know, hundreds of millions of years ago, and we're not here, right? That means that at some level, biology is not completely fundamental because the laws of biology involve all sorts of historical accidents. So the laws of physics have this claim that they apply everywhere. You're not just on, not just on Earth, mm. uh, maybe you know, not just in our solar system or our galaxy, and maybe not even in our branch of the universe, right? Because many people, including me, believe that the universe is not just, there's not just one, but there's a multiverse, uh, a whole collection of possible universes. Right. And the laws of physics are supposed to apply everywhere there as well. Now, the aspects of those laws in different multiverses are supposed to be changeable. I mean, the different constants of physics, the whole laws of physics can be different in different multiverses, depends on the theory by which they're generated. Absolutely. And in fact, that's does rather... That, does that make them less fundamental? Well, yeah. I mean, well, it, it, it raises some pretty interesting issues. Yeah. So, for instance, I have this, this pet idea I call a complexor. A complexor is a system that can compute. So that's the first thing. It's computer, can, mm -hmm. can do computation. Mm -hmm. But in addition to being able to compute, this complexor systematically explores all possible computations. In this branch of the multiverse, we explore one. In this other branch, we explore another. So there, this, this complexor has a set of rules for which, by which it evolves. We could call them physical laws. But you know, the funny thing about this is that we, you can't tell from looking at a complexor what is fundamental. The reason is that the reason that you can prove that a complexor will generate all sorts of other things is that the thing that makes a computer universal, that makes it capable of computation, is it can be programmed to simulate other computers, mm -hmm. more complicated computers, which then in turn can be programmed to simulate other mm -hmm. computers, which can in turn be programmed to simulate the thing you started out with. So there's no Certainly. fundamental level here. And this complex world, because it's systematically exploring everything, well, it's exploring you know, all possible ways of generating complexity in one way. It explores all possible ways of generating complexity in another, which in turn explore the original way of generating complexity you have. There's no bottom, right? Mm. So in some sense, the notion that some things are more fundamental than others might be an illusion. And it might simply be that what we call fundamental is another computer's complex.